I got into bikes because you can really shape it. You can really take everything off that you don't want. You can just sit down with your motorbike and just by yourself and come up with stuff that it's just you, it's just for yourself. Having that freedom of really putting your, your soul in, in that bike, that's what I really love about building bikes. Rogue's been operating for a few years now and it's really established itself as, as the go-to place here in Perth to, to buy custom bits or to get some custom work done in the, in the workshop. It's got that, that really strong reputation behind it already. We offer a whole range of, of different services and it might just be small little bolt-on minor mods, you know, right through to your full ground-up build or restoration, you know. Here at Rogue we, we work on all types of makes and models. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a, a beat up old BMW from the 70s or a brand new Honda that you just bought off the showroom floor. You know, you bring it in, bring your ideas in and we'll sit down and work out a plan of attack and work out what's possible within your budget and then make it a reality. So as far as the customers that come in, they come from all walks of life and they've got their own unique perspectives and they've got their own ideas for bikes and I suppose it's our job to tell them what we can and can't do. Guide them into what's possible and you know what we can do with the budget that they've got. We've been fortunate that quite a few of the builds that we've done have featured in, in magazines and websites across the world. So it's nice to get that recognition. Um, and I'm sure Billy feels you know super proud you know, when he's finished a bike and then you know a couple of months later picks up a magazine and flicks through it and, and sees some nice photos of it. You know, it's a really good feeling to, to have that recognition. Someone else loves what you've done, you know, what you've built, what you've achieved. I don't think there's anyone really in Perth that's, that's doing what, what we're doing on the scale that we're doing it. Um, there's a few shops back east that um, are doing some really cool things and, you know, they're awesome shops to look to for inspiration or... Hooligans. <laughs> look, at the end of the day though, we recognise that someone could step into this space at any time. So it, it is really important for us to be on top of our game and to provide the quality of service that we'd expect when we walk into a shop like this. You know, we, we take great pride in the work that we do. Um, we make sure that everything that leaves the shop is the best that it can possibly be. We try and give our customers um, the best experience that we can give them as well. You know, we want them to become part of the Rogue family. You walk through our doors, even if you're not even interested in motorcycles whatsoever, you know, we want you to feel at home. To me, it's, it's just really important to ensure that every customer that has interaction with us has the best possible experience that they can have. The, the basis of Rogue's success is obviously what Billy can do with, with what he does in the workshop, you know? There's not many people who can do what he does. I got into bikes doing, doing scooters um, at home just after work or after school, um, fiddling around. With the welder with grinders, I mean, my dad had a fabrication shop um, back in Belgium, so I was sort of just yeah, played around in the workshop and some people at school would have sort of nice bikes. I didn't have too much money, but I had a whole workshop to sort of play with. The first thing when you do when you, when you get a cheap scooter is ripping it all apart and start painting stuff and chop up frames. With bikes, everything's exposed. You can see everything. So it really is an art form making that all look good. We're doing a lot of things here at Rogue. We're, we're hosting a few events. We're doing that kind of stuff because we want to build that scene. We're not going to necessarily make any money out of it right there and then, but we do it for the love. You know, we we love this scene. We love what we do, um, and we just want to see it grow here. This is really important to have a, a strong team that is not only has a, a, a good set of skills, but that gels together at the same time. Everyone's got their own expertise in different fields. We see ourselves as a, as a family down here. I think that's really important for that overall experience that a customer will get coming in. You know, they can sort of see how we all work together and, you know, see that we're here doing what we love. Being able to actually do this as a living, I wouldn't be able to come up with a job I would rather do than what we do now. We get those kind of comments all the time, you know, guys will come in and say, man, you've got the dream job, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, we do. If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. That's what they say, isn't it?